Pat O'Shane is a notable and trailblazing Kukuyalanji woman. She was the first female Aboriginal teacher in Queensland, the first Aboriginal person to head a government department, the first Aboriginal law graduate, first Aboriginal barrister, and the first Aboriginal magistrate. She was also the Chancellor of my beloved University of New England. In 2004, there was a domestic incident between Magistrate O'Shane and her husband. We don't know, and we will never know, the precise nature of that incident. Domestic violence proceedings are quite properly conducted in private. But because Magistrate O'Shane has been forthright and therefore somewhat controversial throughout her career, and because she herself as a magistrate presided over domestic violence matters, her own involvement in such an application inevitably drew public attention. Fairfax newspapers applied for access to the court documents, claiming the right to see them and presumably to publish them as a right of open justice. Professor Ronald Dworkin, perhaps the greatest legal mind of the 20th century, set out a model of laws where the law itself, the rules of law, rest on a foundation of social principles. We know that law is suitable law when it corresponds with the social principles which prevail in that society. So, for instance, we have a principle that people should honour their promises, and our whole law of contract is built on that principle. Principles, however, are not laws. They are merely the foundation upon which our lawmakers ought to build the law. In this case, the court found that open justice was a principle and nothing more. The Parliament was entirely at liberty to restrict open justice by making domestic violence proceedings private. The court said, The principle of open justice is a principle. It is not a freestanding right. As a principle, it is of significance in guiding the court in determining a range of matters. However, it remains a principle and not a right. Their honours then quoted Dworkin himself, stating that a principle is a reason that argues in one direction, but does not necessitate a particular decision. There may be other principles or policies arguing in the other direction. If so, our principle may not prevail. By applying Dworkin's concept of principles, their honours showed why Magistrate O'Shane's matter, like any other domestic violence matter, should be heard in private. Jurisprudential philosophy had a very practical effect. Mm.